They say don't get an anemone until your tank is six months old and established. But they also say don't get one after adding your corals because before it settles down in one spot, your nem will roam the tank and indiscriminately sting one and all. So, catch 22. Either you risk losing the nem or else you risk it murdering your corals. Well, although it's a new setup, my water parameters have been stable. So I threw the dice and got a green bubble tip from a local aquatic shop. I acclimated slowly over an hour and I placed it in what would be a very aesthetically pleasing position in full knowledge, it would probably relocate. I have to say, even though this one is uh, its not a rose bubble tip, it's a green one, it is absolutely stunning. It's got that sort of iridescent glow that's hard to capture on camera, but is really mesmerizing in the flesh. It looks like something that's the result of Chernobyl or some other kind of nuclear incident. Um, indeed, as much as I liked it where it was, uh, and it seemed to have a good footing, uh, it did move and it took itself on a full tour of the tank and eventually uh, found itself doing a little dance on the sand. Uh, a bit like when you step out on the beach and realise it's too hot, it pretty quickly worked out that it was much better and a bit more grippy there on the rocks. So one of the most fascinating things is just how much it can change, how different it looks. So when it expels all the water, it probably goes down to, I don't know, it must be like one tenth of the size. And it seems to do this uh, every couple of days. So it, it kind of swells up and then shrinks back down at different times. You can see the clownfish are pretty curious, but they've not yet mastered the symbiotic relationship. They get the most inquisitive when the NEM is um, performing its Ablutions, they sort of help with the waste extraction. Um, that's the most delicate way I can put it. Um, but as yet, they've not really been ready to embrace that sort of warm tentacle hug. But hopefully, they'll overcome their inhibitions and work it out because that's the main reason for introducing the anemone to the tank, to have them partner up and sort of see that natural reef behaviour. That's what I'm looking forward to. So we'll see how it goes and if uh, Napoleon the Nem, as he's been named, uh, isn't thriving after a few weeks, I'll probably try and find him a, a new home elsewhere, uh, to be fair to him. But for now, he's, uh, he's found himself a spot and he seems to be okay. So is it a bad idea? Can it work out for uh, an M in the new tank? If you've got any tips for success, I'm very open to advice. So um, please let me know, you know what would help, what would be best. Uh, and if you want an update on how it goes, add a like below because that will tell me that this is then worth revisiting in a few weeks' time.